And we're back. Fiji or Mogami. Let's see. Let's do Fiji. Sure. Combat? <laughs> Combat Wombat. Yeah, sure. You can send me that replay. I know what you're, I know what you're talking about. And that would be kind of cool because I don't have a lot of experience with, um, with, uh, Yamamoto, um, you know, I had a problem trying to figure out where I wanted to put him. So, let's pull up the Fiji. Doing a lot of high tier stuff, so I don't mind switching it up. Time is currently 3.15. I'm planning on uh, doing replays till about five o'clock, so that's an hour and 45 more minutes of time. Um, we had a really good rank chat last weekend, so I wanna thank again everybody who um, participated in that. That was pretty awesome. I don't know that we need to do another one today, but we can if you guys want to. Um, yeah. Let's see, so let's take a look at uh, Instant Cthulhu again in the Fiji Tier 7 British Cruiser. Top tier, congrats, no carriers, double congrats. And, uh, well, not too bad of a split, 4-4-4 four, four, four on the enemy team there. Yeah, Yamamoto is getting a buff. Check the Facebook uh, World of Warships development blog to see. I believe it's a uh, the buff to uh, da, 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 da. I think turret traverse is one, and uh, preventative maintenance is getting a boost as well. So that will make him even better on Akizuki. Look at that. With the clouds, the lighting, ugh. I love it. Love this game, love the models. All right, no flags. Well, wait, no, there they are. Uh, XP, flood chance, repair booster. All good flags to have on BG. Once again, I'll say this. If you are running an XP flag, you might as well be running a camo that boosts XP as well. And I don't like seeing standard consumables instead of premium, but you know how I feel about that. Combat, um, yeah, thanks for joining in on the stream. Appreciate the compliment there. Oh yeah, good point, uh, Dragon. That's our uh, SAT. I didn't notice that. So Fiji has no smoke. He's instead elected to take the scout plane for maximum team play. Now I do like though that you're backing up your destroyer. To me, Fiji is kind of where it's at when it comes to the British cruisers. It it just feels like it hits that sweet spot of everything working properly. And, all right, so this is why you're using it, because you want that maximum range. Very dangerous opening up bow on like that, because now you're forced to do the cruiser loser turn. Uh, it's not training for the Manitar. Manitar training would be popping radar. <laughs> oh boy, two people targeting you. Colorado is one of them. Here it comes. Oh, here comes the uh, nice and L. Nice dodge there. Well, you dodge this guy. LOL, you did. Now there's an Emil and a Fiji coming through C Cap with at least one destroyer, I would imagine. But at least you've got the Nagato and Gnaiza now over there too that's going to push those cruisers. But boy, you are taking an awful lot of risk. Again, just like the last game. A lot of risk for very little reward here. 
Um, because, yeah, you can do some damage. You've done three hits with 1,000 damage so far. Um, but any one of these shots that the battleships are taking can completely wipe you off the map. And yeah, your aim is definitely too high. That's a mistake that's very common with people when they're using the um, this scout plane. Uh, you actually have to aim a little bit lower. So, uh, good observation there. Um, SAT, thank you. Wow. You know what he's training for? He's training for the Hindenburg, <laughs> whether he realizes it or not. Um, you, what you're doing right there is Hindenburg gameplay, but the difference is HE can actually do things from super long range and can set fires. Um, you've had four hits for a total of 1,023 damage. I believe that's going to be th yeah, three non-pens, three shatters, and one penetration. That is completely useless. So, smoke is where it's at, in my humble opinion, for this ship. And, um, yeah. Yeah, combat. Uh, we can definitely um, pull in your, uh, your Akizuki game. And, yeah, I would love to have you in there as well as we, as we get through that. So, let's do yours next after this one. All right, pause, and let's take a look at the, the map situation here. I think this is kind of important. Um, a few things that I'm noticing. First of all, B has been capped by your destroyers and is not contested at all. Second thing I'm noticing, why are these destroyers not taking advantage of these juicy, juicy battleships over here? That's just... Urf. Gajamata is all the way over here. And you've got uh, some battleships over there. You've got the Fiji and Mule. So the enemy is really spread out. You're really spread out too, which is interesting. But I mean, at this point, it's just you, the Queen Elizabeth, and two destroyers that are over here. That's not really a large force. And I don't know that I would want to be, you know, here. <laughs> so what I would do if I were you, and. and God, if you had smoke, this would be a different story. If you had smoke, man, right here where these destroyers are, that's where it's at. Because then you can pew pew into these ships and then torp them as they charge you. Or, move up to here and then pew pew at the battleships. That's what I'd be doing right now. Again, if I had smoke. But let's see what happens. And welcome to the April Fool's music. Going A, by the way, right now would be a death sentence. Uh, I would definitely not do that. You're not zoomed in. All. There you go. Gajamata is going into A cap. So what you could do actually is send some torps into the channel. Because the Gaja probably wouldn't be thinking about that. And you can get some surprise. Now that you shot, though, the gig is up. They know where you are. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Ooh. That's good, at least. So, continuing the course you're on right now, you're going to run into a Gneisenau and a Pensacola. Alright, so you're choosing to turn into A. And again, if you had shot in... Look at the smoke. See that? See that right here? If you had fired torpedoes up the channel, you might have actually hit him with those torpedoes. There he is. Pew 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 pew. Left, left. Way off on your aim, man. You gotta be aiming here. Up. Left. Left. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Next time you zoom in, I'll hold the cursor over where you need to be. Eh, he disappeared. Pensacola just blapped the T-22. Oh well. Control click on the, the plane. Get it out. It's just detecting you right now. Incredibly risky. You know the Pensacola is here. 
He's got a broadside shot on you right now with AP. Here's the Gneisen out over there. Uh, can you dodge? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, yeah, you can. All right. Okay, this is a big misplay on the part of the Gaja. You need to punish this now. Oh, shoot, there's a Pensacola. Torp the Pensacola. Torp the Pensa. Forget the Gaja. Torp the Pensa. Okay, now, you gotta... I would have turned, I would have turned right immediately as soon as you sent the Torps out. Torps are way off on the Pensa. You're about to get Citadeled here. Okay. Here's where, where scrolling would come in useful. You need to aim farther to the right. Citadel, good. Come on. Good. Keep your turn. Turn your guns. There you go. Forget the torps. Forget the torps. Go for the guns. You got... He's at 2k. One salvo and he's dead. See? No point in torping. Good. Whew. Okay, turn the other way. Look at look at the look at the Gneisen now. You gotta turn the other way immediately. He's gonna shoot you. <sighs> nice. Okay, now he's probably angling the torp. Oh, you just beached. Oh, don't beach. Guns, guns, shoot the guns. You might as well. You got nothing to lose. Now, the nice thing is, you can maybe use this carcass of that ship. He's turning... Okay, he's turning left. I would be shooting farther to the left here, planning for that turn. I don't think those torps are going to hit. And you just sailed straight back into the island again. Ugh, that's not going to help you at all. Actually, it might throw out, hit him off with his torpedoes. He clearly just torped you, and he's going for the other side now. If you're lucky, he's going to ram you. And I know that sounds weird to say that, but that's the only way for you to do enough damage to possibly kill him right now. Let him ram you. If you turn like that, you might get the torp. There you go. See? Nice. So even though you were out of torpedoes, you still hit him. <laughs> yeah, over-reliance on the torpedoes, under-reliance on the guns, absolutely 100% correct. That was just... I mean, even, even that Pensacola is like, what the heck just happened? I'm gonna... I should have... Uh, come on, there we go. I should have gotten a, a screenshot of the uh, the ram, but that's okay. This is kind of fun, anyways. Here's gonna. This is gonna be your your new title slide here. Oh, I love it with the with the British flag and <laughs> and shippy. I mean, you can't you can't ask for better right there. Nice. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like it at all either. There's just a lot of, a lot of things. So, what can can we suggest um, to him? First of all, ditch the spotter plane. Pick up your smoke and learn how to use the smoke. <laughs> I've seen you play this ship before, man. You you can. I, you're probably experimenting. You're probably trying new things out, and that's fair, right? There's nothing wrong with that. But, oh boy, no. <laughs> If you're going to experiment with a plane like that, the only time you're going to use that plane is if you're on one side of an island and you want to see on the other side. Um, that's when it's going to become very useful and helpful. Uh, other things we saw, we already talked about, the over-reliance on the torpedo thing, uh, definitely. Um, and I think, um, you know, like I said, torpedoing up the channel might have actually made a big difference. Uh, sticking with the fleet, reading the minimap, looking at the situation, somehow you guys managed to win, and you managed to win against the Pensacola and a Gaja, and I have no freaking clue how. But <laughs> um, you've you've given that Queen Elizabeth a lot of XP in the single cap, so congratulations there.
Yeah, and uh, Ice Dragon, I agree. He def we definitely saw some panic there with uh, uncertainty what to do in that situation. You weren't sure who to torp, whether it was the Pensacola or the Gaja, so you just fired the torps hoping they'd hit something and they hit nothing um, in that situation. I probably would have torped the Pensacola simply because he was farther to the right. And so by torping the Pensacola, you are showing less of your broadside to the Pensacola and you're able to then keep your turn to the right and um, keep your bow pointed at the Pensa. The Pensa, I believe, can still penetrate your bow. However, uh, you, you won't get those easy, easy citadels on you. And the Nizanel was also doing the same thing. Yes, he was also relying on the torpedoes, um, which is just hilarious. I still cannot believe that the Fubuki and the uh, T-22 didn't take advantage of the opportunity to just sit back and torpedo these two, these, well, it was, what, four or three or four battleships um, forever and just harass him. So that's unfortunate. The Fubuki looks like he's starting to do that now. Any other tips, guys, that you'd like to give? Uh, if not, we'll fast forward and watch the rest of the game and see where things end up. I don't think it's looking too good. The only strong point is that that New Mexico looks like he's taking the loser lap around, which means that the Colorado, Fubuki, and the Queen Elizabeth have, have a shot here. All right, I'm not seeing anything in the chat, so we are going to fast forward. Prepare to fast forward. Fast forwarding, sir! And there goes the Colorado, so we know this is a loss probably. We're gonna go even faster. Oh, look. All those torpedoes are missing. Did you see that? Oh, that torpedo hit. And. Nope. And. Yeah. Bink. Alright, well, Cthulhu, thanks for sending in that replay. I think it's actually a. Uh, a good replay to, to showcase here of, uh, you know, trying something different and making a lot of uh, mistakes that, you know, that happen. Um, get more practice, get more comfortable in the, the ship that you're playing. Um, learn to use smoke and, and, you know, use that to your advantage. Um, just like before we were talking about the Des Moines, uh, you want them to push into you while you're in smoke. And uh, that's a very strong position. So... Um, find ways to make that happen, okay? Um, let's go to... I'm gonna go to the voice chat in Kraken. Where is it? Okay, so I'm in voice chat combat if you want to uh, join me. And 